Well, how to break a, an uncharacteristic losing streak of, of 72. Jim Goldie, Hawkeye the New, delivers you a Stewards Cup. A fantastic triumph, and I guess you knew that if any horse could dig you out of trouble, it'd be him. Well, he's been a terrific horse all his career for us, and uh, no. if I wasn't in such a bad losing run, <laughs> I'd have been quite confident. You know, if we got the run, we, he would run close, because uh, he's probably been quite unlucky in his two runs at Ascot. So, uh, no, he's in great form, and, uh, you know, what's wrong with the rest, I don't know, but he's, he's never given us any doubt how well he's been. <laughs> And he's a horse who has come to just about every big show in the last two and a half years, and, and invariably he, he gives of his best. Is that just a, a measure of the type of character he is? I think he's very talented. You know, he's uh, there was a few try to go on him this week, and Graham's got to know him, and I just decided that uh, for the future. And you know, I think he's probably well. He's definitely a Group Three class. Any maybe Group Two, might be Group One because. He's never stopped improving since we've had him. Like, he just seems to be, we don't really get to the bottom. You know. And your relationship with Graham Lee seems to have really burgeoned. Clearly he's a guy that had a little bit of success for you when he was, when he was jumping. But when he switched codes, and, and with your encouragement as well as many other people's, was it in your mind from the outset to give him as many opportunities as you could? I just think Graham's obviously a very talented jockey. And... Uh, I can, you know, get Kieran and get these lads when they're available, but they're not always available. And for a horse like this, you know, if you've guaranteed a jockey, you can get to know him, and it's, uh, you know, it's a big plus to have somebody like Graham as basically as a stable jockey. So I just saw it as an opportunity, and uh, it's worked out. You know, the proof of the pudding's in the eating, so to speak. Where would you like to go next with Hawkeye the New Jim? Um, I'd imagine the handicap will have him up again, but he's in the head-up part sprint. Um, after the walkie, it was a quicker time in the Golden Jubilee. I was wishing I had kind of paid up my... I was in there to start with it, and I saw Black Caviar, and I thought, why am I paying all this money to be second? So uh, uh, we went for the, the walkie. So I think he, you know, it's hard to know how good he is, because he's a closer, and... Uh, Closers are inclined to, they can, if, if the good horses make a mess, he will come and get them. So yeah, we'll probably go to head up with him now and see if and against the big boys. And for you, bring a horse down from your Scottish base and win a, a huge sprint handicap here at Goodwood. It's a, a massive feather in the cap for you. I'm, I'm sure there'll be plenty of celebrating back home tonight. Oh, no, he's, uh, he's, uh, he's a great Scottish favourite. Uh, the Daily Record's napped him every time he's run, so he's basically got it right. <laughs> He owed, the, he owed them one. He owed them one. Uh, but, you know, he, he's, uh, he's well named for a Scottish horse and uh, he's done his proud. You'll get lynched if you don't run him in the Air Gold Cup, Jim, under top well, weight, 10-stone three or something. <laughs> I would imagine. Alex Salmon came to saddle him last year, obviously, for political reasons. You know, <laughs> He thought if Hawkeye wins the Gold Cup, we'll, we'll definitely get nationalists, you know, Scottish nationalists in Scotland. But, uh, no, he's, he's, we'll probably have to go that road, but uh, it would be nice to win a group win the road. <laughs> Jim, thanks for chatting to us. Many congratulations. Great try. Right, thanks, Nick. Thanks. Cheers.